Well, it's been a while since I've ridden the old G450X. It's been collecting dust in the garage. It's time to blow that dust out and the spiders out of the exhaust. Righty-o. Out of the 450 for a Sunday ride. Blow the cobwebs out. And it's still pairing like a kitten. Yep, no more spiders. On this beautiful winter's day in southeast Queensland, I thought I'd go for a spin over Mount Tambourine and show you my local stomping ground. Flat over Mount Tambourine. On any given weekend in the scenic rim, with beautiful weather like this, you're bound to see a lot of motorcycles and maybe a few nice cars. But first, it's off to the little township of Canungra to get some fresh fuel in this thing. The beautiful little township of Canungra is usually a motorcycle mecca on weekends, but today, it's a little bit quieter than usual. But you can always be guaranteed to see motorcycles of every different type lined up in front of the Outpost Cafe. Now excuse me while I go and just mortgage my house so I can pay for this fuel. The notoriously steep and windy Henry Roberts Drive is the way we'll be taking up the mountain today. These twisty roads are a lot of fun. Almost makes me wish I had motor wheels on this thing. Tambourine Mountain is always lush and green and gets a higher than normal rainfall all year round. And it's pretty popular on weekends. Tourists and locals flock here in high numbers with plenty of places here to visit like national parks, wineries, breweries, coffee plantations and plenty of restaurants to eat at. 
and just up here is the famous St. Bernard's Hotel. As I'm passing the Polish place on my left, I'm soon approaching the lookout where they launch the hang gliders and paragliders. And it looks like there's a few out today. It's also a popular place to watch the sunset. And if you lobbed a brick from here, you probably hit my house. It's just a little too crowded for me this time, so I think I'll head on to the next lookout. Not far up the road you'll find Rotary Lookout and there's some great views to be had from here. Well, it's time to get going again. Bavarian Grill House. Just to the right is the Bavarian Grill House in Red Baron Brewery. Definitely a place to stop and check out. And just to the left is Witches Falls. Queensland's first declared national park. As I roll through the township, we head down the north side of the mountain, which extends into lush rainforest. And there you'll see the Scottish Guest House. And then Curtis Falls to the right. There are plenty of twists and turns as the road snakes its way down the north side of the mountain. Just to the right is the Mount Tambourine Skywalk. As I'm rolling down the hill, I notice that the bike has ticked over a new milestone. 7,000 k's now. 7,000. There we go. The next place of interest off to the right is Thunderbird Park and the turn off to Cedar Creek Falls. Both well worth a visit. And something else that will catch your attention is a jagged rock that someone has creatively painted as a piano. I suppose that's what you call rock art. And it's great to see plenty of riders out today, and not just on two wheels. The 
there's always plenty of wildlife to look out for, particularly kangaroos. And that one's got a joey in its pouch. Where else would you expect to see water buffalo but on the top of a trailer? Well, there you have it, that's Mount Tambourine. Small in stature as far as mountains go, but big in what it has to offer. And that was only skimming the surface. There she is. There it is. Still a good looking bike. Olin's rear shark. Marzocchi front forks. XL rims. Well, back one's not, the back one's a standard. It's got motors. Tractionator tyres on it at the moment. And then on the front we've got a Pirelli. And the seat that's on it is a cut down version. It's got the Safari tank on it. Another 8 litres, 16 litres total. It's got just over 7,000 k's on it now. They're getting pretty rare. There you have it, G450X.